Welcome back to How To Food. Today we're making a quick and easy focaccia. Uh, I have to put a disclaimer on when it's saying quick and easy focaccia. Focaccia still involves a little bit of work from your side. You're gonna have to be stretching it now and again, folding it over, but it doesn't need an overnight fermentation. So we'll be starting off by blooming the yeast first, guys. So simply nine grams of yeast, 335 grams of lukewarm water just gonna allow it to bloom for about five to ten minutes guys to the side you'll see it will start bubbling a little bit and you know your yeast is still active while you're waiting for your yeast to bloom simply add your flour to the mixer you can do this with a hand as well guys not a problem just put on your dough as well once your yeast is bloomed and it's done its job you can add that to the flour and start mixing This is a very, very wet mix, so it will look too wet. It's about a 75% hydration dough, guys. You can clean off your hook now and again if you want to. It's not necessary, but I always prefer doing it just to make sure there's no dough that's left on there. Not to my surprise, Kemir is doing his job perfectly. All the flour has been incorporated. Now you can add your olive oil. I add it while it's mixing. Once all the moisture of the oil has been absorbed into the dough, it's then time to remove it, cover it with glad wrap and rest it for 20 minutes covered. Once your dough is rested for 20 minutes, you'll pick it up from the one side, stretch it as far as it can without tearing, drop it down, rotate your bowl until you've completed the full 360. Tip your hands in some water guys, and then that makes folding much easier. Just before it tears, let it go, turn it, dip some more, lift it up, rest it for another 20 to 30 minutes, and repeat this four times. After you've flipped it four times, it's then time to add some olive oil into a nice baking tray and then we're going to just simply put the dough into that. As you can see guys, there's nice bubbles forming over here. That's exactly what you want to see. The dough might be a little bit firm initially, so we're just going to press it out to the corners and see how far we can get it without breaking it. I'm not going to fidget with it anymore. I'm going to let it rest for another 15 minutes. Finish pressing it to the corners and then we're going to let it rest for like 45 minutes to an hour and then it's ready to go into the oven. After the final proof, this is what it should look like. You'll see all the air bubbles forming. That is exactly what you want to see. We're going to make a simple emulsification. So it's just 20 grams of olive oil 20 grams of water. You simply take a fork and just mix it together. It takes a while for it to completely emulsify. My favorite part, guys. We're gonna dump all the dough. Take your fingers and make holes. I'm gonna add some rosemary to the top of it. Gonna make one half with pepper dews, other half with olives. My mother-in-law does not like pepper dews. Then you simply take your emulsified water and oil and add it to the top. This will run into all those dimples we created. And that's your focaccia guys. 
it'll be in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes at 220 degrees Celsius. And that's it guys, that's a fresh focaccia. I always like to add some little bit of olive oil on top of it. And that's a wrap guys. Please remember all the exact ingredients is in the description below. And please remember to like and subscribe.